Noll started in 1865. Wilhelm Noll, the father of Walter Noll, um, set up his first business. He was the son of a shoemaker with leather. And uh, already his son started to make furniture around 1900. Um, it was always inspired already at that time by innovation to find new ways of upholstery. Uh, the Bauhaus movement was um, very inspiring for Walter who founded his company in 1925 and they made furniture which had always a new um, idea technically and visually. Mm. So they made the chairs for the Zeppelins, aluminum tubes, they created strings covered with textile, a suspension with flat steel which was not there before. So the Bauhaus is in the DNA of the Knolls. When I'm asked, yeah, what makes us successful? Then I thought, is it about the products? Is it about the people? Is it about technology? I think we have to go one step backward. And I think it's our competence to create social relationships. A social relationship is not made for a purpose. It's made for an ongoing process. And we have installed that in the company. So it's about how we work with our customers, how we work with our um, people, how we work with our external partners. And uh, it's a beautiful experience that you can do business on these values. We're coming from an area which has a special cultural background in manufacturing, yeah. which is going back for generations. And it is the home of Mercedes, of Bosch. When you go into a showroom, a chair, a table, a sofa, is a strong visual impression. And it shows about the idea of the brand and the performance of the brand. And it's an experience that you know which three-dimensional form works for which personality, privately or corporate. Yeah. What we can do, we do to perfection. Yeah. And now it's about the communication to place in all these different um, products in the concept of the architect. When Norman Foster started to set up uh, the German parliament, the Reichstag, um, I was interested and out of that relationship, uh, project-based, um, we developed products which are one of the most successful um, furniture or let's say lobby furniture in the market. Everything what we do has the longevity uh, in it. If we make products, if we have the social relationships. And uh, at that time I started Walter Noll, or not that I started it, the family took it over the 1st October 93. That means this month it's exactly 20 years since I'll do this wonderful profession. Um, Eos at that time, I was 32, was a little bit younger. They just started their career as designers. Three young people appeared and I feel from the first beginning the spirit. And then we met again after a briefing and I said, now we have a bench for you. I thought, oh God, what shall that be? I want to make sofas, how a bench? But that was just the Austrian expression for a sofa, <laughs> a bunker. <laughs> so the Jason sofa line came alive with um, flipping armrests. That was technically and aesthetically a real innovation. It's still in the program today after 17 years. The new Knoll, the new Walter Knoll was born. Inspiration is traveling. What I'm searching for is the different tribes in the world, the native tribes, their thoughts, and you will see they have a lot of things in difference. But more important is to find out what's in common, because this is what creates the space for international design. It's the mix between craftsmanship, between materials, um, and it's even in the oldest native tribe in their genes. The natural native tribes with their natural colors create something which appeals to our 
old brain structure because it's coming from nature, it's coming from animals, it's coming from flowers or soil. And this is something which inspires us. We want to create something which is very deeply uh, in us. Now you see the mood boards and at the end you see the colors of the leathers. And for us it's very important longevity. So not colors which are there as fashion, something which is strong and stays for a long time. Thank you very much for listening. It was a pleasure to give you some of my inspiration and my background. Thank you.